Hey guys, this video is going to be about SEO Ultimate, which is a free plugin that I use on my new site since about March that replaces All in One SEO, which you guys are probably all familiar with. Uh, it's also the plugin that I uh, used to recommend in my guide, but when I change them in a few weeks, I'll probably mention SEO Ultimate too. Both of them are as good for SEO purposes, like it's not by switching to SEO Ultimate that your rankings will go up or anything like that. It's just that SEO Ultimate has a lot of other features that you really start enjoying because they're really awesome. So you have all these modules here. So I'll go on the module um, page and you see here you have these disabled by default and white papers is usually enabled but I disable it because it's pretty much just news about their uh, company which I'm per pretty much not interested in so there's a 4 for monitor which is the first module that I find really interesting you can go in settings um, pretty sure all of you are familiar with 4 for uh, pages which are basically error pages because of a bad link to a post that does not exist anymore. What's really helpful about this monitor is let's say someone links to your blog but doesn't link to the post that they wanted to properly. With this monitor you'll be able to see that like people from this blog are coming to your website but they don't land on an appropriate page. So knowing this you'll be able to um, make a redirect to the proper post. I don't think SEO Ultimate does redirects but um, in case this does happen, all you need to get is a plugin called redirection. So let's see, uh, code inserter can be helpful, so I'll go check that out. So you can put something in the head tag before item and after item and footer. After item content, you could actually put um, a NatSense box if you wanted. I usually put it uh, manually in most of my posts. But with SEO Ultimate, I would probably actually put at least the one after the article, a rectangle, right here. I wouldn't put in the before item content, though, because I usually like to have it with my post. And in the footer, you can have um, anything, really. Like here, I put a quantcast tag, which will basically give me information on the demographics that visit this uh, link back blog. I don't use this module, the Competition Researcher, but I do use Deep Link Juggernaut, and this is really an awesome feature. So, what I really like about it is that, let's say I mention Article Marketing Robot Review in any of my posts or someone in the comments, it'll automatically now l use that anchor, anchor text and link back to my Article Marketing Robot Review post. And I can also set it as a new window. Now, as for like affiliate um, stuff or whatever. I usually use Ghost URL. Well, for this uh, blog, I use Ghost URL, which is a paid plugin. And there is one thing I didn't like about it. It's basically that um, you can't have it open in your window, which I think is pretty lame. Besides that, this plugin is awesome because usually, let's say you link to this, it actually hides your affiliate link. Now, by using it with Deep Link Juggernaut, I can put AMR, link it to like the proper article marketing robot link, and make it open in a new window, and then Ghost URL will take care of making sure my affiliate link gets added. So I really like uh, using SEO Ultimate with Ghost URL. And also, as you can see in the middle one, it looks a bit different. This is because um, from within the post, when you make it, you can actually add the anchor text, which is what I always do on my uh, new websites that use this plugin. So as you can see for this post where you'll probably be reading, uh, watching this video from, I'll have these four anchor texts that will link to it from anywhere on the website, besides the, the post itself, because um, I actually don't like check this allow posts to link to themselves. I think that's lame. And I'll pr actually we'll put some restrictions here because I think it's a bit spammy if um, the same post or page is being used by the same anchor text all the time. Okay, I think these two are enough. Okay, 
so this is how you use Deeplink Juggernaut. Um, file editor can be kind of useful, so I'll open that. This researcher I don't use. Link box inserter can be pretty useful. It's pretty self-explanatory. It'll add a little link box at the end of your post if you choose to enable it. And it's just an easy box to copy um, for others to make a link back to your blog. Meta descriptions, meta robot tags, so I'll go meta descriptions. And also quickly check file editor. So as you can see here, like here your robot text file. Usually you have to go to your FTP um, uh, server and edit the robot dot text file from there. And same for the dot HD axis. But with SEO Ultimate you can edit it from within WordPress, which is pretty awesome. For the meta description editor, this is you know basically self-explanatory. This is exactly what SEO Ultimate um, All-in-One SEO used to do, especially combined with um, meta robot tags, where here you can prevent indexation indexing of uh, various categories, like SEO. Um, all-in-one SEO would usually also block category archives, but for now I decided to leave it be. Let's see, what are, are rich snippet creator? Uh, that's helpful if you have a product site. Basically, you can put like an image of a product appear on the search results of Google. Um, I never use it so far because I don't really have e-commerce sites, but if you do, this would be um, something you might want to look into. Settings monitor. Let's go check that out. So this is basically just like check marks for the most obvious stuff that you both should have in green. Slug optimizer. Um, this I'll probably disable for the link back, but I usually just leave it on my main site. It's basically, if you don't know what the slug thing is, it's like the permalink title it will remove like these common words. Um, whether you enable it or remove it, it's your choice. I mean, it honestly won't change much. I think I'll remove it from the link back just because I think I like better having nice long permalinks. Title tag rewriter. This is basically the same as LN1 SEO, which will usually make that let's at the top of your post in the title, you'll have the post name and then your blog name. But if you want to change it a bit, you can uh, play a bit with it here. And is there anything else? Oh yeah, there's a few more features in here. Um, what do I like to use? More link customizer. I think this is pretty self-explanatory. You can make a custom um, end of post. Click here for more information on this type of thing. If you would like to use um, SEO Ultimate to add like um, share this line of buttons at the end of your post you could do it here I usually actually use one of these two for my um, AdSense websites but for the link back I have another separate plugin that does it for me so I'll leave it undone here um, if you want to remove the URL bases um, this is like a SEO thing you see here you have categories um, this is probably the only one I would actually consider checking, which I've done on a few of my AdSense websites that are more recent. Basically, you, if you have a category, you'll always add this category tag and then the name of the category in the example. So let's say the category name is Awesome Category. By checking this, basically the link will basically be domain slash awesome category. For SEO purposes, usually you want your links to be as close to the domain as possible. However, if you want to have a category that has the same keyword, like the same name as a keyword that you want to rank for, and you also have a post with the same name and permalink as that keyword, uh, you might run into an issue where when you click on the post, it's going to always bring you to the category because the category and the post will both share the same permalink. So this happened to a few of my websites until I realized there was this uh, feature that was making it uh, block. So all I did was I changed the uh,
category permalink a bit. And that's about it. If you want to use here to um, for a webmaster tool verification, you can do so. And that's about it. Hope you enjoyed the video. And I really recommend SEO Ultimate if um, you basically want to use some of these new features, uh, especially the DeepLink Juggernaut. It's a free plugin, so definitely think it's worth it. But don't expect it to increase your search rankings if you don't want to bother playing with the options. It's basically the same as All-in-One SEO. It just has a lot of more features that are pretty awesome.